hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Today, I forgot to give you a little house tour. Remember like that TV show, MTV Cribs. <laughs> kind of like that, sort of, but not. But kind of, a little bit. Anyway, because the house is nearly finished, when I say nearly finished, I mean there's a few minor details still got to do. A few things on my to-do list, but the majority of it is finished. So, starting here in the front room, me and E, gonna give you a little walkabout. So, we redecorated the house from top to bottom, painted all the ceilings, all the walls, skirting, and the window frames. Basically, when we moved in here, the house had uh, oil central heating. One moment, anyone say backpack on. Pop it on. That's that arm. Yeah, now that one. There we go. Looking pretty. Looking pretty with your backpack. Yeah, all good. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, anyway, so we found out that the, the oil central heating needed to come out because the oil tank was too close to the house and it was too old. So because that was all going to have to be removed anyway, we had all of the radiators removed, all of the pipe work removed. As you can see, there, there used to be pipes running down from the ceiling somewhere there. Anyway, we had the pipes ripped out and I filled them, painted all of the holes. And we had these fitted. These are air conditioning units with heat pumps. So in the summer, these provide our cool air and in the winter, they provide our hot air. The reason why we want to make the whole house electric is so that one day we can get a solar power system, meaning that the house will be more eco and more friendly to the environment. We can't afford that quite yet, but one day, one day, it will. That will lower our bills and make the house more environmentally friendly. So one day, one day. This right here, this is Coco's little area. That's so she can have some space of her own. She's got a nice cushy bed in there. She's got her water bowl in there and she's got her basket of toys, obviously. Moving on. As you can see, we continued the slate gray skirting all throughout the house. We repainted all of the doors so they're nice fresh white. Uh, this, Inside exposed wall, I particularly like this. We think this is a really nice feature right here. Uh, Enya's off, so we might as well show you her bedroom. This is Enya's bedroom. Ta-da! There was actually um, wallpaper on all the walls, so we had to strip all of the wallpaper off first and then repaint the walls. Um, this is Enya's bed. So that's kind of like a little family tree and I painted the tree and then carved the names out so as you can see it's actually carved into the wall see she's got her aircon unit wardrobe drawers me <laughs> so uh, I think that's it for Annie's room moving swiftly on wait 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 we're not moving swiftly on yet Annie wanted to play on her rocking horse for a little bit so check back with us in a little while hey Jose This is Coco's castle, because she's a princess. A bed for Enya to jump on, apparently. Can you jump? And over here we have my wardrobe. Very nice, as you can see, my wardrobe. And over here we have Lisa's what? Uh, 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 uh. Here. Quick, Anya, run, 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 run! Quick, 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 get, quick, quick, quick! Run, run, leave that room, leave that room. We'll pretend we didn't see all that. This right here used to be a radiator cover. There was pipes running down from the ceiling into a radiator behind there, but obviously we had all the radiators removed. So I turned this into a shoe storage. Put some hinges on it turning this into a door, put some shelving in there just to house all the shoes and put a little handle on the front. Yep. Recycled! Okay, we'll show you the kitchen real quick. And so we repainted everything, took all of the uh, doors off, repainted all of them, covered all of the kitchen worktops in this nice marble effect vinyl. That is vinyl. The only thing we didn't change in the kitchen is the flooring because we really like these old fashioned floor tiles. Obviously, electric cooker, because everything in the house is electric. Now this obviously is the conservatory, but also our dining room. 
See, dining table and chairs right there. Now I'm just going to make Enya some lunch and then I'll give you a little tour of the outside. See you in a bit. Anyway, moving swiftly on, on my own now because I need to crack on. Don't worry, I haven't abandoned easy peasy. Lisa has come home and is sitting with her while she has her lunch. Say hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Laughing at me. <laughs> so, anyway, what I do want to show you is this. This is Enya's shed. Um, so, I built this for Enya. This is her little playhouse. Now, I did buy one of the exterior wood because I wanted it made out of larch because you don't have to treat larch. Um, so I bought like 60 odd planks, cut them all down to size and buy metal cladding for the roofing um, and obviously bolts, handles, hinges and whatnot. However, if you look in here, all of the framework, see all of this framework that it's made out of, that is all foraged materials. This is all wood that I managed to salvage that people were throwing away. So I cut it all down to the right sizes, treated it and built the framework out of it. And also the floorboards, that was getting thrown away as well, so I salvaged that. Uh, the window over there, that's off of an old TV cabinet of mine, so recycled. So that is, oh and also this is pretty cool, look. This opens up barn door style there we go there we go looking lovely that's a thumbs up okay that's Enya's shed moving on to my shed now ta-da so this is my shed um, essentially my man cave now there used to be an old potting shed here um, but that was excessively rotten so I tore that all down, salvaged whatever materials I could from it, and rebuilt this in its place. This is the original door from the potting shed. And if we take a look in here, this is the inside. This will be the inside of my man cave. This is not mine. I'm just storing luggage for one of my teammates. Kabula, you are welcome. And if we go around here, I'll show you a pretty cool feature. So that's the main part of my my man cave and here we have an extra door leading to the back so this is a separate section for kind of like dirty stuff this is Lisa's shed um, this is not done yet we still need to fully refurbish this like I said we're almost finished so this thing's still on my to-do list another thing still on my to-do list I'm going to build a birdhouse to go on here and behind this door right here this is confidential well at least for the moment Shh, it's a secret maybe for another video maybe not we'll see anyway I think that's about it for today I do have to go to work so I'm gonna wrap up the video right there um, tap the like and subscribe button if you fancy it if you got the time until next time this is the end